to South Carolina State House, the annual King Day at the Dome was held this morning. It's the first time in a few years the event was put together by the South Carolina NAACP. It was that it was held in person. South Carolina State House reporter Mary Green reports. King Day at the Dome was held here Monday in person for the first time since the pandemic started. In line with this year's theme, speakers urge South Carolinians to look to history as their teacher. When we see the water drawing back, we cannot fall asleep, we cannot stand still, we cannot be apathetic, we cannot wait till the presidential election. We must rally our people and our troops now. We must register people to vote. We must act now. Brenda Murphy, president of the NAACP South Carolina State Conference, urged South Carolinians to continue fighting forward toward justice, saying they can't fall asleep. Other speakers encouraged them to get to the polls, saying not voting has consequences. Last November, several black state representatives lost their seats at the state house. A federal court also recently struck down South Carolina's redrawn congressional map for being racially gerrymandered after the NAACP sued. Congressman Benny Thompson of Mississippi, who chaired the House committee investigating the January 6th insurrection, says South Carolina is on its way toward carrying on Dr. King's work. I'm excited to come here to see that people are still about the business of fighting and resisting justice injustice anywhere. The day's event started with a prayer service at Columbia Zion Baptist Church before the group marched here to State House grounds for the rally. Their march was along this same path that hundreds of African American students took in 1961 at the height of the civil rights movement to protest segregation. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.